Welcome to another episode of what has sold on eBay. So I'm gonna just go ahead and uh, share some uh, items that I've sold on eBay. Some that I like to consider bread and butter items and some that I like to consider lobster dinner. Because you could get yourself a nice meal with the profit you're making selling these items on eBay. So with that said, I'm only gonna show you seven items. I don't wanna take too long of uh, this video. It's gonna be another 15 minute video like other ones, but let's begin. Okay, so here we got a Holler Bros Guancho shirt, pure agave, men's size, extra large. <clears throat> so, what do we always say about newer tags? Newer tags sell a lot faster and better than used items. And for this product, I never heard of it, but now it's on my radar. Holler Bros happens to be this really, really good brand uh, in the South, in the like states like Arizona and stuff like that. Uh, you know, the, where they have dry heat, they like to dress down with this really beautiful uh, Collar Bros Wancho shirt. Uh, <laughs> when I saw it, I bought it, I believe I bought this for $6. I bought it for $6, I went to L, L Train Vintage in Brooklyn and uh, they have so much clothes. I couldn't even like finish going around the entire store. Normally I like to go through the entire store before I leave and by the time I was tired, I was like maybe halfway done with the store. That's how big the place is. And, I saw it, uh, I shared with Tag, and I was like, okay, let me look it up, and I looked it up, and it was just like, wow, they were selling for over $100, some were like even $200, but this specific one had like an agave stitching on the side by the shoulders, and I was like, okay, that's pretty cool, um, looked it up, and I was like, wow, they're selling for like between $100 to $150, so at the end, I took a best offer of $100, it was great, I mean, look, I only spent $6 on it made $94 off it real quick too. It only sold like in less than a week. I wanna say maybe five days. And then the real great item, if you go out there and you see Holler Bros, put that on your radar. Excellent item to make you that lobster dinner. All right, next item is this little Tiki Farm head. It's a wooden texture. Uh, saw it right there about the painting area, the area where they have the paintings and the portraits and stuff like that. It was just like on the floor. They wanted a dollar for it. I figured, okay, you know what? Maybe there's a tiki bar out there or a man cave, you know, one of those luau themed man caves and somebody might want to buy this. And again, this is what I call a bread and butter item. Bought, bought it for a dollar, sold for $17. Not bad, you know, real quick get the ball rolling, make some money to buy other items and continue doing this money train. All right. Next we got, now this is, this is not a thrift item, but maybe this will help you guys understand that there's even value in uh, cologne boxes. So I received this as a gift from someone and I was very, very happy about it. And then one day I said, you know what, cause I like sometimes to go on eBay and search through the barcode and search for items just to see how much it costs. And I just happened to look this up and I was like, no way. This item is like $300 with the cologne but the box itself is selling between like 30 to $50. I guess people buy the cologne separately from the box. Maybe maybe somehow, some way it's cheaper for them that way. <laughs> then I wouldn't spend $300 on a cologne like that. I mean, come on. But anyways, just the box itself sold for $30. I was very happy about that. And I mean, it's a box for a cologne that I, you know, I mean, I don't even keep those around. I would just throw them in the trash, but I was just, I guess I was just throwing money in the trash. But anyways, if you have some boxes of colognes or colognes you don't use, whatever, I, I, I highly recommend some, some of that stuff. Look it up on eBay and you'll see, you'll be surprised. Uh, if you're selling cologne, some of that stuff could sell for a pretty penny and even just the boxes itself could sell for a pretty penny because people need, probably whoever bought this from me has the cologne, needs the box, gets it together, gives it as a gift to somebody else and it still costs less than actually buying the whole thing together. You get what I'm saying? All right, but anyways, 30 bucks. It was just sitting there on my, uh, on my drawer. Pretty good, pretty good deal. All right, another one, we got a Nounce Dragon headset. This is one of these headsets that I saw and uh, I believe I found this at Unique. It's one of hanging out, hanging, um, hanging items where you just hang it on like some hooks and then you usually look through it. Normally I look for remotes and stuff like that. In this case, I found a headset, brand new sealed. And you know, we're living in this uh, pandemic world where everybody's working from home, everybody's doing conference calls from home. So therefore, I knew the headsets were kind of a necessity to continue doing this. Um, they, I believe I spent like $3 on it. And again, brand new, I don't know, maybe somebody donated this before the pandemic. 
and then now I took advantage of it and they were selling between 10 to $25. And yeah, and then the brand new, I got took a best offer of $20, real quick, turned $3 to what, the uh, $20, $17 from my pocket. Pretty good item. I normally don't like to wear headsets when I'm at work. Um, you know, I don't mind the noise. And for me, it's just wearing all these headsets after a while, I just get so much. I mean, even I, Wearing a mask for too long hurts my jaw, and I don't want to just wear headset for too long. So if you have headset that you don't you don't need at all, and you want to just sell them, you'd be amazed that they're so pretty quick nowadays. Especially like I believe webcams were selling fast too for a while, but you know I don't have webcams to sell. But I'm just giving you an idea. Next item, we got the North Face Apex Dark Gray Fleece Jacket. So this is another item that I found at the L Train Vintage. Uh, I believe I bought this for six dollars. I sold this for a best offer of $45. I sold in about two weeks, so it was a good item. The winter time items sell fast, especially North Face. Everybody knows North Face is really good for the winter time. So yeah, not bad for $6, turning it to $45, $39 profit. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, um, so yeah, with this item, really didn't sit too long. Uh, you know, I wish I could've got more. I think the high end, they were selling for 70 to 80 bucks. Again, I'm not in the business of having too much clothes on my shelves. If it sits there for a little too long, get it going. If I get an offer that's pretty enticing, I'll just take it. Just rather get the cash now than wait too long on it. And then later on in the summer, nobody's buying it, you know? So yeah, good item. And then what we have is an original Slap Chop Slicer. So I saw this at a flea market. It was new, nobody used it. I think it was somebody's grandma that, you know, I think she passed away or something, so. Anyways, they sold this to me for $2, brand new, and I saw online they were selling between $20 to $30. I sold mine for $20, and sold like less than a week also. Uh, I mean, I used to use the Slap Chop before because the Slap Chop uh, would help me not cry when I was slicing onions. You would just put you know, the onion and then you chop it, like blah, 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 and it's good, right? But uh, I think that, you know, its popularity died, I think maybe 10, 15 years ago. So this is kind of a rare item. But there's a lot of people out there who I think buy this for the re same reason. They don't like to slice onions. <laughs> so um, pretty good item. You find something like that and you be like, oh yeah, I see commercials for this all the time. Get it, you never know. You, you might be able to sell it for a good pretty penny, but I always advise, look at the sales comps on eBay, sell and completed items on eBay. And if you know that, hey, if you get this item for a real cheap price and sell it for a higher amount, then good for you. Last but not least, we got another new with tags. We should do like a sign, like a big logo. New with tags. New with tags, Mint Cloud9 Racing Stripes Jean Jacket. Now this is a size large. I found this at Inspiration, so it's pretty cool. Um, I figured it's like a racing jacket, but I thought maybe it was like sort of the ska scene, you know, <laughs> punk ska scene. And that's kind of my niche. I kind of know what they dress like, what they're looking for in their style. So I figured, okay, I'll buy this. I bought this brand new with tags. I believe it was like $8 and I uh, sold it for $50. But this one did take a long, long time for it to sell. It took like almost 10 months for it to sell. So at the end I wanted more, I wanted like 80 to 90 bucks and gradually I lowered the price because I needed more people to, needed more watchers. At the end somebody just takes this off my hands. I'm kind of impatient when it comes to that. Um, I'd rather have product moving than sitting there. Don't get me wrong, if I have something that I could sell for like 200 or 300 dollars, I'll sit on that. I'll sit on that. But you know, if something like less than 100, I'd rather have it moving but not to the point where I lost so much money I rather, yeah, I invested, I invested one well, in this case, $6, six to $8, and then I sold it for 50. That's not, that's not a bad day if you think about it, but other items I'll sit on it. And as long as uh, I get the right buyer, the right buyer will eventually come. If the only thing is up to you if you're patient enough for this buyer to come. But for this $50, not bad. Okay, thank you so much for watching this episode. Hopefully this is expanding your knowledge and your list of items that you're gonna keep a lookout for when you go thrifting. Um, if you like this video, give it a like. If you have any comments on this, drop a comment down below. If you want to keep watching this, expand your knowledge, or watch me go out there and make a fool out of myself while I go thrifting, hit subscribe. I'll keep doing these, and because again, this is my side gig, I like having fun with it. It's just good, you know. I just like I need a hobby, and <laughs> as long as it's making me money as opposed to just losing money, 
and I'm all for it. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Scare money, don't make money. Bye. Hello, this is the Terminator. Thank you so much for watching. The boredom is real. I hope you like, subscribe, and hit the little bell icon so you could help this channel grow. Come on, do it. What are you waiting for? Do it now. If you're on Facebook, head on over to the boredom is real and the boredom is real TV on Instagram. What are you waiting for? Go on, do it.